Hello and welcome to Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video. Today we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot and set up memory sharing among multiple CPUs in a Mitsubishi Electric system. Here you can see I have an IQ platform backplane. You can tell this by the black connector on the left side of the backplane. For a Q-series system, this connector is clear. Now in my system I have three CPUs. We have the ability to communicate among four CPUs. So I'm going to jump into the software and make sure that all of my memory sharing is configured correctly. In my PLC program, I go into PLC parameter. Here for multi multiple CPU setting, it's very important that you have three set based on the number of CPUs you have. All other CPUs need to match as far as the checkboxes go and all the other configuration settings here. For the IQ platform, you select this tab the high speed transmission area. For the older Q series you would select this tab. So here in my setting it's very important that for the refresh settings PLC number one, PLC number two, and PLC number three that these settings match. Now for a CNC CPU or a robot CPU nothing should be configured in these areas. So for my system I have 6,000 words of data being sent from PLC number one, 3,000 from PLC number two, and 4,000 from PLC number three. So what I need to look at here is the points of data. The points here from PLC number one, and you always view the tab for which you're programming as that, that tab, that CPU is sending the data. So if I'm programming CPU number one, the PLC, this tab is referring to the data that's being sent. It's very important. Now from the motion controller standpoint, if I go into the same setup here and select basic setting and multiple CPU setting, you can see there's it's listed here. It says refresh send. So PLC number two is sending the data. Now these it's very important that these areas match. So CPU two send, it's sending two points, twenty points, four points. In the PLC for CPU number two, which is now it's re uh, it's receiving this data, it's two twenty forty. So again, these need to match. You can see there's a mismatch, and this is why I have an error on my system. So this needs to be forty. Once you configure this, and once you confirm that the other tabs are configured correctly as well. Uh, the the data registers here, the registers that you assign, they do not need to match. It's uh, it's, this is where they're coming in or being sent from. Um, what matters is the points of data. So these tabs need to match. Now for the CNC and robot CPU, for example in RT Toolbox 2, for the multiple CPU setting, you have this window here. Again, you need to select your three CPUs and configure your data to match. And for the automatic refresh point for a CNC system or a robot CPU system, you just need to configure the total amount of data that's being communicated. So in my case for the PLC CPU, I have uh, 50 here, 50 points of data, and over here, 62 points of data. So 50 and 62, so here I, I'd configure 50 and 62. For the CNC setup, uh, this is configured using the CNC monitor, typically from a touch terminal, an HMI, or from a remote uh, setup, uh, remote software to, to communicate, or there's also NC configurator. For more information on memory sharing between CPUs, you can download the QCPU user's manual for multiple CPU systems. And for further troubleshooting, you will find in some of the software uh, there are uh, help files available that describe uh, more information about the memory sharing. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a great day.